Hi, in this video we're going to go over the solution to the question circular barn in the 2019 or 2016 February bronze contest. And uh, if you haven't already, I recommend you watch the previous video um, because I explained the problem and also provided a hint. Uh, but if you're still stuck, uh, I guess we can just go over the full solution right now. So if we have the circular barn like this, and I guess I'll just make it four. So n equals four. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to simulate what would happen each time um, uh, we enter through each barn's door, each room's exterior door. So we're going to do one iteration here, another here, another here, and another here. So essentially, we're going to be looping um, n times, n being the number of rooms. And for each uh, room, we're just going to uh, loop clockwise um, until we come back to the same room that we started on. And we're going to, as we're doing that, we're going to compute the total distance that we travel. And so, yeah, that's a relatively simple um, solution. And it's just, I guess, a simulation. Um, so how would we do this? Uh, we can keep like an array um, that basically stores each barn. So an array of length n. And then we loop um, to calculate how much we have, um, or like, I guess, how much um, distance we travel. So in the example, it was actually five. So n equals five. We have four, seven, eight, six, four. So if we're doing the sample input, uh, let's just say we start traversing from four. So for our simulation, we start at four and then we're going to loop until we reach four again. And OK, so as we go on, so four first, that's going to be zero times four. And we can keep track of um, the distance from the current or uh, from the starting point. So if currently is zero times four. We go here one times seven and then we move on two times eight and so on. And so once we once we reach the end, um, since you can't really have like a circular array, what we can just do is let's say once I is equal to, uh, N minus one, we loop back to the beginning and then we realize this is our starting point. So we can just cut it off from there. So, yeah. So I guess the only tricky part about this implementation is making sure that, you know, we, um, one, we can. I guess somehow loop back to the starting point so that it is a real circle and not just like a 2D array or sorry not a 2D array just like a two-dimensional line and then two uh, we also want to make sure that we can somehow keep track of the distance traveled even if we traverse this way so I guess one way we can do that is So let's just say we started here at eight. So first is zero times eight. And then we go here. So as we're going on, we'll keep track of like an ands, which is set to zero. And then we do ands plus equals the distance from the starting point times the amount of cows. So I'll just call that R of I. So here that's just zero. And then for six, it's one times six. Then for four, it's two times four. And then we reach, um, actually not n minus one, just be n. Then we reach n. So uh, I mentioned before, we wanna somehow loop back to the starting point. And so what we can actually do is uh, iterate, continue iterating. So just, um, I guess for our for loop, we would just do the starting point um, i is equal to the starting point 
and then i is less than the starting point plus n. And so obviously that wouldn't make sense if we go beyond the number past n as we uh, see here, but what we can just do is take the index i and take that mod of n. And so what this is going to do is it's going to, you know, in um, some way, send us back to the beginning of the array. And yeah, so that's basically the full solution. Um, I'll just write it out. So one loop through um, all the rooms, simulate the exterior door from filling rooms clockwise. And so while we're doing this, we want to take um, four i equals, um, I guess we'll have a double for loop going for the simulation. So the first, first it's like this, and then So this first for loop is, you know, simulating the exterior door we're starting with, and then this one is simulating the um, traversal where we're taking all the cows clockwise. And so what we can do is ants plus equals, um, let's say we have um, an array with the number of cows, so array of j mod n times uh, j minus i. And yeah, that's basically um, the solution. Um, and I recommend you try implementing this, but if you still have trouble, I'll, in the next part of the video, I will show the implementation. And thank you for watching.